Okay, let's start. Uh, good attendance. People woke up finally. Uh, we are, I'm, I'm the CTO and co-founder of Blue Sky Analytics. Uh, we are building uh, Bloomberg for climate data with FOSS technology. Uh, climate change is one of the biggest crises that humanity is facing, and I think uh, open source is a very crucial tool to solving this. Without open source, I don't think there is a solution out there. Coming to the next slide. Uh, we are a three-year-old company. Uh, we were founded in India. Uh, now we are expanding. We have our office in US. We, I'm based out of Netherlands, and we are hiring our team in Netherlands. So if you are sort of looking for a job, please bring me. Uh, then we have uh, a million in revenue. Uh, we are sort of scaling uh, that up. We have 300 plus users. We have a team of 30 people in India. And uh, we have built all this platform in-house using FOSS4G. Uh, you might have attended my colleague's talk yesterday about building a spatio-temporal database using Postgres, PostGIS, and TimescaleDB. And uh, my friend, just uh, my colleague, just gave me another talk about how we are using open-source tools to predict fire emissions all over the world. And uh, that's the sort of uh, stuff that we do. Coming next. Uh, we all know that climate emergency is a problem, and it is uh, the only problem with a deadline. And we have something around next 30, 40 years to solve this, and it's a very pressing issue. And I think uh, you, uh, whoever's from like Italy might have realized that you know it's getting hotter every day, every year, and that's a problem that we have to start looking. And uh, uh, from a financial perspective, from an insurance perspective, we have to start taking these. Uh, this climate data and this changing climate into the risk and underwriting that we have. So just like pandemic happened, uh, we were not prepared for pandemic and we are not prepared for climate change as well. Uh, but we should be because if we are not, then we will incur losses and uh, uh, there will be sort of a recession that we are sort of looking at maybe. Uh, we, are, we, uh, we are a data set provider, by the way, so building Bloomberg, just like Bloomberg is uh, sort of the repository for financial data, we are the uh, repository for climate data and on environmental parameters. I'll come on to the data sets that we are working on. Uh, th we are all global, so we have a global uh, coverage, so all the data sets that we build are built using remote sensing, AI, and machine learning, and we have a global coverage coming next. Uh, so we not only use satellite data, but also IoT sensors, uh, a lot of uh, uh, data from surveys, uh, ground data, government data, all the data that we can gobble up, we gobble up the name of the ingestion platform that we have, it's called Yum Yum, so that it can eat every kind of data that we have out there. Uh, we have built this uh, data refinery that we have, uh, like, you know, the oil refinery was the prop, is oil refinery is the, is the thing, we have this climate change problem and we are building this data refinery, which is sort of antithesis to that oil refinery thing. Uh, we have this aggregation, we aggregate a lot of data. We have built proprietary AI models, which use uh, this, all this data. We have pipelines, and uh, we build environmental insights using them. Uh, a whole lot of it is actually built on open source. Uh, oh, damn. Uh, then we have uh, the, data, the data sets that we are producing is floods, emissions, extreme heats, wildfires, carbon capture, and ESG ratings. You can read like uh, what sort of use cases that we are serving. So underwriting risk is very big. Risk models, asset pricing. And the asset management is something really big. We have two platforms. One is called Spacetime. Spacetime is, is a uh, sort of a open source, not an open source. We are sort of thinking of open sourcing it, but we don't know how. We're a very small team. And uh, this is the platform that we use to visualize the data sets that we have. And here you can go to spacetime.bluesky.hq.io, and then you can see what sort of data sets that we have. You can visualize uh, on various parameters, change colors, and everything. There's a lot of fun that you can do. A lot of open data that we build. We open source it, that is, it is available on space time publicly on a macro basis. On a, on a more detailed level, you have to sort of purchase it from us. Coming to the next, we have all the data that we have is also available through APIs uh, and through our developer portal, and this is all the details that we have, what is the frequency and everything. I got it. Okay, so uh, I'll come to the interesting part. This is the, this is the thing that we built. So we, built, we start, began with the air quality data set from India, and now we are working on water quality monitoring, surface water quantification. I think it's very relevant to what's happening in Europe, like all the lakes and rivers dying up, and we can track from satellites on a 15-day frequency what's happening on the ground so that you know, people can better manage. We can't prevent these things from happening, but we can better manage them. And power plant emissions is something really big. Uh, uh, and this is uh, like this, we can now monitor emissions and catch the offenders from the satellite. That's truly amazing, actually. And fire prediction is something that we are working on as well. Uh, greenhouse fire emissions, that's something. And uh, 
uh, greenhouse fire emissions, we were part of we were founding members of Climate Taste. It's a, a global coalition led by ex US Vice President Al Gore. And I think he will switch it off. Can I? <laughs> okay, I, 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 yeah, just, just closing, just closing. Just last slide. Yeah, so we are the Climate Taste. Uh, we build the, uh, uh, they are building the global uh, inventory for greenhouse gas emissions. We were the contributors for the biomass burning part. The, all the data is open source and CC by 4. So you can have a look at there. We are a fairly young company and still we have won a bunch of awards. We merged the Dutch Prime Minister in April, I suppose. We are part of AWS Space Accelerator and uh, we are the Bloomberg New Economy Catalyst for this year and we are meeting Michael Bloomberg. So that's a very fun thing that Bloomberg for environmental data, no relation there. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you. And uh, have a good day.